Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at an Amazon wig from the company Ling Hang, and it's a short bob in the color brown with highlights. And this is her right here. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're going to look at another Amazon wig from the company called Ling Hang. And this young lady is just titled Bob Wigs for Women, Synthetic Heat Resistant Fiber, <laughs> Colorful, and then it goes on to talk about cosplay and bob wigs for daily or party. Um, the wig that I chose to get is in the brown mix with blonde. And um, it's just a straightforward bob, very simple, kind of a long bob. So I'm looking, or I'm thinking a lot. So this is how she came to me, all wrapped up in her bag. So let's go ahead and take a look at her, okay? Now, just looking at her, we have another one of those very, very familiar steamed flat artificial parts that we have right here. So you can take a look at that. Okay, and I will be doing my my uh, normal treatment of this area and uh, we'll do a brief show of that. But let's take a look at her cap construction. So when we turn her inside out, the most obvious thing to me is the fact that the wefts are so far apart. The, the curtains themselves have lots of hair in them. So you still get quite a bit of coverage. It just gives you a lot of aerated um, areas. We happen to have, can you see that little, look at that. It's that new style of a hook and eye. I really like that addition. Once you get them in the hook, in the, <laughs> the hook part, they're likely to stay put. What we have is a kind of a closed lace, but we do have this patch right here in the middle that is um, a plastic, and that's where we get that artificial um, part on the, on the center that they steam down. And because it's made of a plastic product right in here, it actually helps to mold those hair fibers into position so that they stay. Now, if you like that completely flat look and you don't mind the look of that, that much of the, of the part, you know, um, you, you're welcome to have that. For me, I, I want my wigs to look a lot more natural and have a little more styleability. Um, they, and so that requires my treatment of them. Okay, we get combs on the front, on the right and left of the front tab here. This, this portion right here is a soft velveteen um, fabric. We have closed ear tabs that stay in there is this long. And it's a nice substantial ear tab, but there's no fibers stitched on the underside. And this ear tab or the metal stay in there is not going to stay curved very long. It's, it's just way too flimsy. So it's, a, it's that way on both sides. And of course, we already saw the hook and eye closures on the right and left. And then we have an extended closed nape on there. And because she has um, a very distinct bang already cut into her, she doesn't need to have any kind of other front, but it is in a darker shade. And so with this color of a wig, she's going to, um, she's going to be just fine with that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try her on, all righty? What I have on today is Juliet by Paula Young, and she's a discontinued wig, I'm sorry to say. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and try on our new bob from Ling Hang. Okay, right out of the bag. See how she's laying so very flat. And this color reminds me a little bit of a coffee latte color um, in other wig brands. We're gonna go ahead and do a spin for you right now, okay? All right. I'll try not to keep my fingers in her, but that's what she looks like. She's a long bob. Probably um, not very, she didn't appear to be very shiny. And that's kind of nice because the shininess is the what gives that artificial look um, to so many wigs. But she doesn't have that extreme amount of shine. And then of course you can see the highlights um, around her and they are blended throughout the wig. So I imagine if we separate it or the wind blows, 
you could see some more of the highlights as well. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my bangs and I'm going to puff them up. The cap fits very comfortably, I have to say that. It's very comfortable, very, very comfortable. It covers me well on the sides, comes up to my bio hair um, with about a half inch, and the, and the ear tabs sit over my head, um, over my ears very, very nicely. Okay, and all right. So I begin by pressing these bangs for or up against the cap, which lifts them. So here's the other side with the ear tab and the coverage. And of course, if I wanted to go ahead and treat this area with a root cover, it would blend in very, very nicely. Um, well, these are not wanting to budge a whole lot, so I'm gonna take my hot airbrush to it, okay? And now look with what that little bit of, of treatment has done. It's lifted it off my, my forehead enough, and now it appears that the bangs are short and I have not trimmed them at all. Okay, let's look at that part, all right? Okay, so this is that part right in the middle. I think that's pretty much in the middle. I would have to... There we go. Okay, so this does not require you to do anything for styling other than just putting her on. Um, the style itself, distinct style. And so there's a blunt cut all the way around. And for me, she sits right at the top of my shoulders. And that's a nice feeling. It's not dragging across my shoulders. I can still wear a low collar and have her hang um, just straight. So that's that feels really nice. Her density, even though the, um, the curtains themselves had a lot of hair sewn into each curtain, the curtains weren't as densely placed. So there was a larger, and that's part of the reason I'm sure that they, that they, uh, separated those those curtains and made such large wefts in here. Now I can see where I could probably do a wispy bang here. And you know, this this being this flat isn't that bad. It isn't that bad. But if I wanted to, to change that, I would take a section of hair off to the right. I start with the right and then I go to the left. But I take a section of that hair, a small section, and you see how it's it's ironed, almost ironed in place to be completely flat going that direction. I want to add some lift to it so it looks like that it was just styled like it would if I had my hair in rollers, okay? So in order to release that crease, I'm going to take this section and I'm gonna apply a little bit of heat. And then I'm going to stretch that a little bit. Make sure that I pull it and pat it going the opposite direction. And then I'm going to repeat. Now, if I wanted to, I could stop right here. And you see how that's added a little bit of softness up at the top? And it would be okay for me to leave it like that. And it would lay flat, but we still have, we can still see some of that part. So that would be just enough if you want to do a side part and um, leave it just like that. But also if you want to go back to your center part, all you'd have to do is just add a little bit more heat and repeat the same procedure on that side. And this is going to provide lift. Now, if you don't want it to completely lay flat in any one direction, 
you can just go ahead, take your wig and hold it upside down and apply heat to the interior of the cap, uh, cap where that plastic is there and let the hairs just hang vertically. And that's another way to release that hard, flat um, seam. And of course, if I wanted to make it a little wispier bang or add just a little bit of, um, of a vertical cut into the edges and not have it be quite so blunt, that would be fun. But this is a really cute little wig and you know what? I wouldn't be averse to wearing it out. I'd probably, for me, I'd fix the bangs a little bit more to my liking, but you can side sweep them over. Let's see how that front line looks. Now this is a very small, flat edge of the cap, which I think does a great job with hiding the cap and making this look more like a real, more like real hair. And this responded really well up here to um, what I was wanting to do with the top of this wig. So I, I give this a thumbs up. She also comes in multiple party colors or cosplay colors, which are really cute. She's got, um, a, aside from the typical brunettes and blondes, um, she has one that's a little bit on the red side. There's one that's a rose colored. There's a powder blue color. There is a pink color. And um, let's see, there's a purple lavender color. No. Anyway, there's 11 different colors, white, gray, mixed blonde. I also took a look at the um, claim that it says it's heat resistant fiber. Now the, um, the, in the details of this product, it says that you can perm it. I'm almost thinking that they don't really understand that word perm. I'm thinking that it should have meant curled because it says the bob wig with bangs can be permed, straightened and cut. So they left out curled. So I'm guessing that um, I would I would not use anything over 300 degrees. I would be very, very cautious um, about that <laughs> anyway. Well, that's Ling Hang and they have lots and lots of other kinds of wigs available. So oh. I mean, I could see wearing a hat with this one, very, very easy. It is not dense up here at all and it fits very, very well. So. Low density, but I think good coverage. And then if we, I'm gonna do an experiment. How about I blow some air and you tell me, can you see the wefts? <laughs> well, well, did you see any? <laughs> I don't know that there were any there, but you know what? I'm wearing this one today. I think I'm gonna play around with these bangs too, okay? Okay, so I went ahead and added a little more curl to these bangs. And that allows me to kind of fluff them up and take them off to the side a little bit. That's kind of cute, isn't it? A very distinct bang. And of course, as it starts to relax, or if I don't want them this short, I can always tame them down a little bit. Okay, so that's it for the Ling Hang Short Bob. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.